Hey, what's up? This is Seb de la Web, and welcome back. I'm gonna show you how to improve this mobile menu of Flatsom. Uh, I created some CSS, I did my best, and what you will get is something like this. And um, I, yeah, as you can see, I improved the padding, I even improved the, the, the transition speed, I even made it like fully width on mobile. Then you have like a full overlay menu and even you have the possibility to customize the, the, the closing button, the, the drop down error, error, I mean arrow. And um, yeah, I'm pretty excited because I'm using this piece of CSS for all my websites, all my Flatsum websites. So I wanna make it available for you guys. So let's get started again. I created the Flatsum demo. This is the page. Um, everything is still set to the default settings of Flatsum. And what I did is I created this page. And when you scroll down, this will be replaced by the video. And uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube, there will be a tutorial link in the description below. And then you go directly to this page. And when you scroll a little bit down, you will find the CSS code that you will need to make it happen. Just click on the copy button here. Um, very simple, you don't see it selected, but when it says copied, you know it's been copied. And now we can paste it. Uh, go to your Flatsum project, then open up WordPress. And like I always say, um, there are different ways to import or add your CSS. Um, for now, I would go to Appearance, Theme Editor, and here you find uh, the stylesheet.css, where you can add some custom CSS. I will delete all this. And then I will paste in my CSS code. And when I update the file now, you will see it should be working. I will refresh and then you can see it's working already. And now I will run a little bit through the CSS so you get a little bit of an understanding what is going on. Here you will find the menu background color. So that's the main background color. That's the white color you see here that you can change by changing here the hex, the color hex code. Then we have the main menu link styling, and that's those big ones. So you can change the font size and play around with, with the color, the line height, maybe some padding, but hey, it's all been done already for you, so probably you don't need to change much. Um, then we have the sub menu link styling. That's um, these guys. So the orange ones here, if you want to change the color, make sure you then you change the sub menu links. Then there's also a hover, a hover styling for that sub menu items, because what I always like to do is give that little hover effect. So as you can see, it goes from orange to black and play around with the colors to, um, to suit your branding. Um, then we have the sub menu links with children, meaning that, well, let me show you. If for example, you have children and even siblings, as you can see, then you want to make sure that you have a little bit of a different styling for, um, for the, the submenu item. As you can see, the siblings are the same as the submenu items, but this one, because it's uh, um, uh, like containing the siblings, it's styled in a different way. So that's, uh, that's this one. Um, then we have the toggle. Uh, the, the toggle, what, what it does is the, uh, the arrow that you can see, that's this one. So you can even give that your own color as well. Um, then we have the close, the X button to close your, um, um, your mobile menu. And as you can see, it's here in the right corner. Now it's white. It now still has the uh, CSS unblend mix mode because you want to make sure it's visible on the black. But when you make it smaller, so let's say we make it um, again to this one, as you can see, it's orange. So if you want to, um, let me make it up. So now it's in the center again. Um, so that's this one, the close X styling. So you just you can just change the color, uh, leave the opacity to one, and also the blix, the mix blend mode. It's giving a kind of error because it doesn't recognize this uh, property, but it's still working. And then we have the menu transition speed. Um, I changed it to 0 0.8, and it just makes it a little bit uh, less. Um, it, it makes it more smooth, I would say, the transition. Um, then we have some other stuff. Remove the background hover. Yeah, by default, uh, Flatsum has a 
a, a quite a big hover background color and I just removed it. I don't think you need to change this. If you want to apply the border again, you can you know add the border again, uh, but just leave it. I think all these stuff you can leave. And what I also did is if you want to Im import a button, um, so let's say, and sometimes I really like to do this because if you want to, for, for people, for example, want to subscribe for something, let me show you. You go to the header main or header mobile. And then what we're going to add is a button. So here you can see all the items that are con contained in the mobile menu. Um, as you can see here, so this, you have the search, search, main menu, main menu, account, etc. cetera. Uh, let me just put all this one on, uh, on hidden. And then I'm just going to add the two buttons, button one, button two. And as you can see, they're nicely full width. And if you if you can even place them on top to, for example, say register now or any kind of uh, um, any kind of call to action button, but you can change this, of course, by clicking on button one, and then you can change and you can say register now or something like that. That really works. So you can play with that uh, as well. They're nicely full width and ha they have a, a a nice margin and padding uh, to it. So it's all been done for you. Uh, what I also did, and here you can see the width and the padding of the menu for phone, tablet, and big desktop. And that what it creates is that, um, let me show you, open up a new window. What it does is, as you can see, it's resizing. So the, the menu width is nicely resizing, even on the big desktop as well. You have much more space to your capacity, so why not? use that as well so and then on mobile it's fully with and i really like that because then people can especially with big fingers can touch it much more easy the navigation links so um i think that's it there's some important padding here on the bottom don't remove it because then the whole trick won't happen it's all based uh, on my uh, little bit of css styling um yeah i think that's it change it to anything you like but um like I said, I'm using it for all my websites and I think it just gives that little extra to it and you're much more flexible in terms of uh, styling your, uh, your, your menu links and colors, etc. So, okay guys, well, thank you for watching. Um, if you're uh, watching this on YouTube, uh, subscribe to my, to my channel. I'm also having my Instagram account. I'm really now, uh, especially with the Corona, um, spending a lot of time creating a lot of creative content so follow me on the um the sep de la web instagram page and also what i want to say i'm um, uh i just released uh, a 22 design essentials you can subscribe by leaving up your email and i will send a, a video link to you guys with uh 22 design essentials that i always use for every flat song website so that's about it. I wish you a very good day and good luck creating awesome website, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>